Hey everybody, welcome back. We are here in the dungeon. Uh, we would like to get some extra levels, that would be cool. We did learn recently about the collapsing stuff. Once you go through there, it kind of cuts off a path for the one that you didn't choose, which is a really neat idea. Uh, here's our current backpack scenario. This is our current setup. I also learned that this heavy item could be held up by the light items or the floating items. So there's some experimenting that we can do there. Uh, so thanks for the suggestions with that. But let's carry on in the dungeon for now. This is empty, which is kind of sus, but let's go here and let's start battling, shall we? Okay, so we've got the club. We have the the Earthstone Blade, which we are not going to be using right now. So yeah, it's kind of a waste of space, but if I can get our bag set up the way that we would like with an extra level or something, then we're laughing. This is now dealing poison. So if we look here, we can see they're going to take one damage at the end of the turn. Uh, I don't know if that's great or not because you're reducing the base damage. If it's only adding one, one poison, I don't know, but either way. Uh, this guy, who do we want to deal with here first? This guy's hitting harder for sure, uh, but we're blocking all of this. Yeah, we're blocking all of this. Let's go for him. Okay, that's fine. We can kill him with the sword next round. Oh! Oh, wait a sec. What happened there? Oh, yeah, because this is also dealing poison. Right, okay. Yeah, that's right. We did set this up in a pretty smart way, if I do say so myself. Okay, so now he's going to take three poison. And no one's touching us right now, okay? We're absolutely crushing. Let's go. Is there anything that I would want here? Some of these lucky stars. So Sapphire here, this item floats. Yeah. So if you put this under a heavy item... Like as a as an example here, we won't we won't do this, okay? But my understanding is, if I did something like this, oh, okay. So this this interesting. The way that I read the comment was uh, different. That this would float to the top. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, sick. Okay, so this is actually stronger than this. So now, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. I think I should try and make that... I should try and make this work if I can. Uh, that... If I can being the, the key here. So let me see. And also let me know if... Do you guys want me to just cut out if I'm messing around with this? Because I feel like... I don't know. I think this is part of the appeal of the game too. In some aspects, right? So if this went here... I do have to get rid of something. Adjacent weapon below gets plus three damage. Yeah. I don't know that I can... I, I have to get rid of something. So what am I going to get rid of? The poison? Or this? I think I'll get rid of this. I'll keep the poison. And this will impact both. So both have poison. These are all stacking adjacent uh, and diagonal armor. And then I get, now I have this, which means actually I might not even need this. So hold on a second. Like I should actually be using this now, right? The only thing that's gonna change is I'm not applying weak, but I'm gonna kill things a lot, a lot faster. Uh, so maybe there is a world where I can do this. This has to be below. What if I did something like this? And then I held this up here. It's kind of a weird way for it to work, but... Uh, okay, let's go there. Get rid of the club. Yeah, I don't think I can make that work. Well, actually, hold on. This goes here. You see, it's just, it's weird how it, the placement breaks every time I do this. I don't know if there's a way to kind of lock that in place or not. So I need a three slot for this. Or maybe it's better like that. But then I can't take advantage of any bonuses unless I do this. 
in which case I'm still not benefiting from the uh, citrine. But you know what? It's fine. I'm going to ditch the club in favor of the Earthstone Blade. The citrine, we'll see you later. I guess I could open up a backpack slot eventually, but do I want to carry this? I guess. I guess I'll carry it till I don't need it, right? And then I can pick up something else. So let's go with the dart. We'll get some consumables. Okay. Let's carry on. Goodbye, club. Ooh. A pile of dirt. Or a p I meant a pile of gold. That's what I meant. Okay, valuables. Hit me. A needler. Seven damage, two poison. Minus one damage this turn. So, for one, that's still pretty good. But here, this costing one is actually... Is so strong. Six poison to all enemies. Each turn, add one spikes to self. I kind of like that. Let's replace this. Or maybe I'll ditch that one. And we'll take this. We'll hold this. We get spikes. And then we can toss out this dart. Okay. We move. It's been fun in the dungeon. We're going into, I think, the third section here. The crypt finale. Oh, wow. Enemies here. Prada's locket. So this is just boss mode, I guess. Wait a second. I recognize that. It's my mom's lost locket. Could have a clue about where she is. What's the trick here? There's something inside it, but only your mother knew how to open it. Okay, well, I def... Okay. This is property of King. King's thug. Is that right? That's mine. All items in the dungeon belong to him. If you want it, you'll have to fight me for it. I don't see you being a huge problem. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. And the, because... It, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is a really strong build that we have right now. I could throw the dart here, but I don't even really need it. Like, if I throw it here, he dies... Well, actually, it does 11 because of the sapphire. I didn't think that would count as a weapon, so that's kind of cool. It would kill him, but I don't even... It doesn't matter. So I'm not taking any damage anyways. Okay, we struck him down. Bye-bye. So I do need to find space for that. I guess I should have just used it then. Cool. I love this little animation. We're just digging through the bag. That's so awesome. Chest of valuables. Yeah, please. That looks like a pretty nice chest. It's cheese. Who doesn't love that? Sell for an extra 25 food in Haversack Hill or sell for 25 extra treasure in Haversack Hill. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. We'll get rid of the th thorns. We're using this to hold up the knife. So if I... Yeah, if I remove that, it does collapse everything else underneath. Okay. Let's see if I can remember how we had this now. Mm, something like this. Man, how did I have this? It's impossible. This game's impossible. It's impossible. Okay, let's get rid of the spikes. We'll take this thing back. All right, cool. We're out of here. So this is something that's new for the 1.0 release, to my understanding. This whole town system and everything. By Anna's Quills. Purse, there you are. Why were you gone for so long? Yeah, I was exploring the dungeon, dude. We talked about this. You promised to only stay near the entrance. I found this amazing backpack in there. Let me explore deeper and bring more stuff back than ever. Besides, we won't be able to rebuild the town with what we can find laying in the woods. That may be, but do I need to remind you how dangerous it is in there? Yeah, no, I remember. I know, but somebody needs to do something. Maybe I can finally make a difference. There's bandits, Kingsguard, and who knows what else. Still, Dad, someone needs to do something. That's what Mom would do. Your mom would also know to be more careful. I can feel her presence. Exploring the dungeon makes me feel closer to Mom. I know that's what 
I'm meant to do. I suppose there's no convincing you. Just promise me you'll be careful, purse. Dad, I found something in the dungeon. I think it's Mom's locket. I saw one of King's captains down there. I think he might have been there the day Mom was taken. Let me see that. Okay, so I give this. This was your mother's locket. I recognize it, of course. She found this in the dungeon. She always claimed it was magic and the source of her luck down there. I remember she had some way of opening the thing, but it was always a challenge for me. Dang it, I can't get this thing. Come back to me next time you're around. I'll figure it out. Dang locket. Okay. So if we go and talk to him now... If you talk to Zara yet, she can probably help sell all that stuff you found. If you get a little money, maybe you'll stop leaving. Okay, so this is Zara. She's been in Haversack Hill for years. She'll sell you her odds and ends. Did you fall for the old hermit crab in the treasure chest trick? I just came back from the dungeon. I figured I always knew you'd know you've gone down there when old Lewis starts pacing by the entrance of the town. Hate to worry him, but there are so many things down there that can help rebuild the town, but the dungeon keeps shifting and I can't get deep enough. It is tricky down there. It took my brother Baz years to make any progress in his explorations. I don't know how my mom did it. Yeah, that Prada was something special. I sure do miss her. Anyways, did you find anything good to sell down there? I found this magic backpack so let me carry lots of stuff. How about the backpack? Is that for sale? No way. This lets me carry all sorts of stuff. Well, if you bring back more stuff, we can scrap it and sell it. If only we had a store to sell it at. Why don't you remove the old store? We can get some resources from that. Follow me and I'll show you where it is. Okay. Destroy the old store. Destroy it. Oh, here. Okay. Destroy. Alright. Cool. I mean, I should I be just destroying all the things? Yeah. Not enough population. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go tell her. Let's let her guide us here. Let's get out of uh, building mode. Sure, scrap that old store quickly. Here's the blueprint for a new one. Could you make it? Yes. So I can build a commercial building to buy and sell for each commercial decoration nearby, plus 5% efficiency. So this is cool, because now we've got like a little bit of a city builder situation on our hands. Uh, it'll take a few resources to build, but you got a few when you scrap the old store. You should set up a new store now. What are these little things? Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so this is our population, and this requires three population to break it down. Or 30? Hmm, not sure. What about the rubble? Can I destroy this? Not enough population. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. Let's just build a place. Uh, Store-wise, let's just go here. Looks as good a place as any. Build items here, or sell items here. Gain resources to expand Haversack Hill. Yep, cool. I built the store. When I said you should build a store, I meant over the next few weeks. How'd you do it so fast? It's this backpack. I can lift, move, carry, organize anything, even buildings. This changes everything. With what you can do now, I think we could really rebuild Haversack Hill. I'll start setting up the store as a trading post. You should head back to the dungeon to find more supplies. Okay. So, let's see really quick here. This says 25, this says 30, 20, 20, 30, 45. And you can see up here, we're at two. So, I don't know how we're going to get that many people almost ever. But, okay. So, what is this? It's just, uh, this is just a currency of some kind. See if there's anything else around here before we go adventuring. Is this totally blocked? Yeah. So we're probably going to need to build a bridge at some point to get access to more land. But yeah, seems cool. Let's jump back in. Multiple characters. Interesting. Peppy Rat from a poor village in Oakshire Forest. She aims to storm the dungeon, rebuild her village, and save her family. Okay. Uh, basic run with no special settings. The golden cheese sells for 25 extra food or treasure. Current. Completed. This quest is complete. You can play it again, but you will not make any progress. Okay. 
So I think this is all we do. Let's go. So I guess I don't retain things run to run. That's the vibe? Is that what I'm understanding? So now we're on standard here. All right. Well, well, well. Explosive. 20 damage to all enemies when destroyed. I'm going to get rid of that right away. And we'll start building up some armor. Okay. Bearded Dragon. He's doing four burn. This guy's not taking any action for now, but he eventually does blow up. So I'm going to try to focus that. The problem is I am going to take a lot of burn, so I will do this meal and kill him. I'm also going to take this meal and get as much damage in on him as possible. The thing I'm seeing with the consumables is, like, you got to use them right away. If I kill him, then I probably don't take any of that burn. I don't know if that burn goes through our block or not. But... Okay. Let's build uh, upwards there. Something like that. Sure. I think having some four slots is kind of nice. Ooh. Vampire Blade, hey? Vampiric. So that means that I'm going to heal for that amount, right? Yeah. Done to, damage done to non-summons. But it's significantly less damage than what I currently have. Uh, max HP is nice. Thorns is cool. For each row below, add a block. So we want to put this up high. So it's adding four block. If I do this, it's only adding one. Okay, just to confirm. For each hazard in this row, adjacent weapons get plus one damage. I don't know what a hazard is yet, I don't think. I can't take more items. Okay, hold on. So... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of the thorns, and we'll take the knife so that I can heal up to this amount. And we'll go from there. Okay. Let's fight these guys. So he's going to steal gold and then run. So I do have to focus him. I'll do uh, max damage there. I'm not going to go for the heal at all. Okay, so we're going to kill him. Let's do one of these. And then I've got nine block here. I can claim this now. How do I do that, though? See? Oh, I see. I can't claim it because I don't have space. Uh, and you can't... You can't select this and then fit it in there. I would have to reorganize, I think. But it costs three energy, which is pretty rough. So I don't know if that's what, I, what we're going for. So that's fine. Well, that's yet another reason to have some empty spaces there. Okay, now he's going to self-destruct dealing 27. So I'm going to do like this, and then I'll finish him off with the Vampire Blade, because I only need two. And then I get that small heal. That's cool. And then Buddy down here, he's coming in for eight. Not a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Does this count as armor too? Yeah, helmet and armor. Okay, cool. We have enough block to deal with this kind of guy. So I'm going to heal up to max. Okay. Let's go. Where should we go? Four more spaces? I mean, I'm obviously learning that some things want to be up top, some things want to be on bottom, so having some of these kind of outer edges is nice. So we'll do something like that and keep this. Okay. You can choose three items. Go back to the club, perhaps. I mean, it's better than this. I can use it twice for 18. Or I could use this for 21, but this gives all the weak, right? 
So, like, I'm in this weird scenario here. On use, give 3 plus damage this turn. On alternate use, destroyed, reroll your combat rewards. Oh, interesting. Could add that haste. And there's a key here, but... I don't even have a use for that quite yet. Okay. Well, I'm inadvertently in the exact same build that we ended with. Or minus that big sword. Pretty close. Okay, this guy gets the power buffs. So two attacks from here should be fine. I actually could have even ditched the vampire blade now. But I didn't. And I may still need it, but uh, it's clear that I'm out blocking these guys by quite a bit. Ooh, bag of treasure. Oh, reorganize now to claim this item. My bad. I misunderstood that. I, I think this might have shown on the dynamite too. Okay, but I can because this guy's not coming in to hit me at all. So, yeah, I'll reorganize. I understand now. But do I have to carry this all the way back with me? I feel like that's going to be tough to do. I'm going to want those slots, most likely. Okay, all this weakness is just clobbering him. Okay. So, what do we take here? Go back into the armor type thing. I mean, if I was going to do that, and I'm not saying that I am, but if I was, it would look a little something like that. Right? Because I just get so much block. I could ditch the vampire blade and make that slot there. And then I'm pretty tanky for now. For now. I'll probably end up getting rid of this, but uh, you know what? We don't know. Unknown event here. Let's go. Care to trade? Get a rare item of the same type. Well, let's look. Rarer item of the same type. So a rarer helmet, essentially. Or a rarer, more rare machete. I don't know if it stays within the exact same thing or if I'm just going to get a random accessory. Let's try a random accessory here. So, uncommon. Yep. Yeah. So, it's an accessory. Adjacent and diagonal consumables get plus five healing. Yeah. Okay. No take backsies. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, that is correct. No take backsies. All right. Okay, we do have a thief here. Let's hit everybody. Um, I'm actually blocking 17 exactly. Unfortunately, I couldn't get him down to three, so I'm gonna have to kill him like this. And then we'll do something like that. And we'll focus this rat wolf back here. Full size. They're under 17, so it's fine. I don't need to heal yet. Okay. Okay, okay. Do something like this. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm building towards, right? I'm totally guessing here. When a weapon kills an enemy, add six rage. Each turn hurts. Wait, why would I want that? Oh, because I get more damage. 
but it deals one damage to me every turn. So that's where I would need to build like a vampire kind of setup, right? I don't really have that. Five slow, I don't think we've seen yet. Reduce block by X when blocking. Okay, that's kind of cool. Six poison to all enemies. 12 damage to all enemies. And then if I swap some of these around, um, now I would get healing off of this. Problem is, how can I fit this? I, not like that. That I, I want this to be here, because I need the adjacency from that thing. Alright, I think that's pretty good. Because this doesn't count. This is a weapon, not a consumable. Yeah, okay, we're good there. Okay, onwards, my little rat. So it's collapsing there. Something collect on this side. Now what happens if I go there? And I'm like either one of these looks like I'm stuck, right? Something to collect or something to collect. Let's try this. Oh, this looks like healing, if I had to guess. So I'm gonna go here. I gotcha, yeah, okay. So it doesn't lock you in, it just cuts off the other path. Chest of valuables. Merchant. I feel like I should pick these up after I level a bit. Get more backpack slots. Like, that seems to be the vibe, right? So he's hitting for 17. I have enough block for all of that. Um, I think I should just use these things. The healing stuff is nice. He's gonna die. Oh, Poison Sickness will not take any action. Huh. I wonder if there's a way I could have known that. He's got Poison Sickness now, too. I'm not sure what causes that exactly. Oh, Boots. Hello. Ah, okay. So here's something we want to have underneath. We also have... So now we're getting some new stuff. This item has a use in Haversack Hill, so we want that. Um, okay. So boots need to be below. I think now, oh man, I should just use that lucky star. I always forget that. I'll get rid of that thing. We could have healed, but it doesn't matter. It boosts the other things, but it doesn't really matter. And these are both buffing the boots as well. So let me use that lucky star in the next fight. Yeah. Okay. 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 26 on 50. Oh, maybe this would be healing. That's fine. We'll go find out. Sticky honey. On use, destroyed. When your turn ends, items behind are anchored for plus two combats. What? So, does that mean he's gonna... Th I guess, you know what? I'm gonna let him hit me with that, and I want to see how it works. Okay. We'll do a little uh, shuriken here for luck. A little shuriken for luck. Hazards. Okay, some enemies will create hazards, forcing you to add them to your backpack. They can be placed in an empty space or on top of items. Be careful where you place them. These special items have negative effects, and any item that is completely covered by hazards will be disabled. Hazards will be removed at the end of combat if you survive. Okay, so you have to put this in. Got it. Got it. On use, destroyed. So I can use it for one and get rid of it. 
and items behind are anchored for plus two combats. Um, let me see. Anchored items cannot be moved. So I don't know what that means by behind. Like, I guess on the left, that's the way I would interpret that. This guy's going to hit for nine. Might as well try and finish this dude. Strike them all. Okay. So that just gets automatically removed. Fine. Cool. Great. Uh, lucky ring isn't bad here. Items this is played on are destroyed. So, oh, what is that little icon? I don't know what that means. So if there's a hazard in here that isn't removed automatically, I guess I could use that. This must be played on an item. Removes 100% of all status effects on self. Items this is played on are destroyed, and this is destroyed. Shoe hat. <laughs> if this is not in the top row, item is disabled. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. That is not what I meant to do either. Let's do this and that. So now it's getting a bunch. Um, I'm losing like one bonus provided by that. If I could get these both adjacent here, that would be cool. So something like that, I think, is better. Yeah, that's better. Because if this was over here, it doesn't get impacted by this one, right? Okay, so I'm still holding this bag of treasure. I'm holding this kingdom etching thing. So I kind of need that. I wouldn't mind getting this key as well, but I don't see any, like, locked chests or anything. So let's stick with that. Okay, I need a little bit more experience. Hello, what are you? Uh, you see a wall up ahead and think you need to turn back. Then you realize it's not a wall. It's a huge rodent. It's a capybara. Capybara, capybara. Hello, friend. He says, I'm looking for items of this type armor. I have some. What if... Do I to take them all? Man. This adds five block. This adds five block. All right. That's great, he says. Maybe you want one of these instead. Oh, Okay. Each turn adds three spikes. Get one gold when you take damage. I don't take a lot of damage, but I could. For each column to the right, 0.5 block. Huh. So, it looks like we can kind of experiment. So this would be, add. this would add four block currently. This adds three blocks, but I get three spikes as well. And this would just be for the gold. Okay, I'll take that. Nice little trade there. Uh-oh. Single flower upon his chest. The possum has been here for several days, poor fellow. <laughs> uh, I'll... S Let's pray for him. You kneel to pray, your good deed strengthens you. Oh, healed me. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go here. I feel like this is healing. Yeah, heals 5 HP. Also, I don't know, I guess I can just go and explore them if they don't have the the cutoffs, right? And just see what's in there. Small key, reversal amulet for each hazard in this row. Adjacent weapons gain plus one. So playing around hazards is obviously going to become a thing. Let's see what he has. So we already have boots. Chef's hat. Cleavers get 50% bonus damage. Oh, that's neat. Adjacent shields get plus one spikes to self. We don't have any shields right now. Flower consumable. Poison star consumable. Right gloves. So you have left gloves and you have right gloves. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm good with what we have right now, considering that we want to take a bunch of stuff back. So let's go to the next section. And I think if we do these runs where we finish, we, we start in the dungeon and then finish up in town, I feel like that's, like, the way to go. We do all of our town stuff upon returning.
Okay, so this guy's 150 health. That's no joke. But also, like, he's not hitting me hard enough. Yet. But does he get stronger? He's not going to. He's gonna summon. Okay. Okay. We've read about things and summons. Oh, wow. You're n that's a big-ass summon. We'll flee if only cowardly enemies remain. You'd get zero experience for defeating it as well, because it's a summon, I guess. So I'm just going to ignore him completely. For now. We'll see how that goes. Also, don't know if he can summon multiple. Sitting for 12. We're totally fine here. Right? He still takes damage because of the spikes. <laughs> So yes, he can. And he will. Look at this. Like, I might actually take some damage here. We had just enough block. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, sick. Uh, now, should I level here? Like, why wouldn't I level? Uh, where's the most flexible space? Either way, this is just an extraneous, extraneous spot. Okay. What do we got? We got the cheese. Okay, so it's always this that reward at the end. So, I should also be paying attention to, if I'm going to go into a boss fight, will that level me? And if so, like, I should try and... Well, but in this, you only have the boss. When you get to that third level, it's only the boss. There haven't been other things to, like, explore. But I was thinking you would create an empty slot um, before going to do anything else. Anyway, all good. Pretty, pretty clean run. And we did run into a couple of new things, too. And it looks like there's a bunch of new people. Yeah, look, I got four people here now. So things are stacking up. I got Quill Swish. Have you contributed to my campaign for mayor? You're running for mayor. We have a mayor? Not yet you don't. I'm Mayor Quill Swish Jr. and I intend to be your next mayor. My father, Lord Quill Swish II, was the mayor of Haversack back before it fell to disrepair. All this time I've been waiting to claim my birthright. Now that my town is recovering, I've returned. Yes, you've done all the adventuring and fighting and risking your life, but someone has to handle this true risk, the voting public. First thing I need is a small donation. Let's say 10 pieces of treasure. Do you have some treasure I can have? I just need about 10. Fine. No, no, I need a donation for my campaign. How else will I be able to run the place? Well, yeah. Didn't I just try to give you that? 10 pieces of treasure. Okay, I guess that doesn't count. Wait, where's my backpack here? Okay, so I have to sell this here. That's, that, okay, right. Okay, 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 we'll get you that. Hold on. Before we talk to anybody else, let me get ready here. Is this Czar? We haven't sold anything in the store yet. Even if you get beat up, you can still bring things back from the dungeon. I know it's tempting to save some things for your personal collection, but we need resources to rebuild the place. I'll stop by the store to drop off my stuff. Okay. Uh, so... Okay. So, it's stuff from all of our runs that are here. Hundred percent efficiency. Treasure. This can also be sold for food. So, maybe I should keep that. But now, like, maybe I'll have the flexibility to do stuff now. I probably shouldn't sell this. Yeah, okay, you can't even. So, let's just sell this for now. And let's see what happens. Okay. The stuff you bring back always sells. You find amazing things down there. You can hold on to stuff forever if you want, but I recommend selling as much as you can. Maybe if we keep selling stuff, someone will stop by who knows something about mom. It could happen. Of course, getting you deeper into the dungeon is going to help too. I've got some powerful equipment. I can start you with this stuff. Okay. Energy delivery. You start with these items. A token of energy, a slats shield, that's new, and a wooden sword. The run ends after area one rewards. 
Okay, Lost Spark Legendary and Cornucopia. So this is a new quest when we start with these things. Use to get through at least three floors of the dungeon and you'll get a reward. Okay, so if I look at, where was it? So this is our bag, sort by rarity. I don't think we get to pick stuff to go out with. It seems like each run, we're going to... I need 30 there, like quite a bit. 20, 25. It'd be kind of nice if you could hover this outside of the mode. But yeah, like I'm not building anything for a while here in these slots. Looks like 20 is the lowest. Okay. Let's go talk to the other new people. Librarian here reporting for duty. I was told that Haversack Hill is getting quite large, but still no library. We need to change that. But here we go. Okay, learn about powerful relics for each commercial decoration nearby, plus 5% efficiency. Once you build one, we can really learn new things about the history of this place. Well, I should also mention I'm an expert on the many languages that are written across Orderia. If you find anything to translate, it should be labeled as a lore item. Bring it to me and I'll be happy to translate it for you. Do you have anything new for me to read? Uh, I don't think so. Unless this? This is an etching. Oh, okay. Here's something for me to read. Sick. After the nine heads of cats fell to the crow, after the dogs fled back to their sacred isle, rodents came out of the wood and began to rebuild, and a humble badger became a king. I've added the translation to your atlas. Learning about these new cultures gives me an idea for a new costume for you. Hello. Sure. If you bring me more, I can look into more costumes. Do you have more for me to read? I don't think so. Great looking item, but I don't think there's any text I can read. Okay. Even though that thing said etching, I don't know if that's just they haven't updated it, but... Uh, ten pieces of treasure here. I do have that now. So that's coming from this. Now I'll consider myself a proper mayor. Please swear me in. Sure. I'll repeat after you. Okay. Whenever you're ready. I don't think I know the oath. It goes like this. I, Purse, adventurer and settler, do hereby swear in Mayor Quillswish Jr. in the duly confirmed title of Mayor. Therefore, I now appoint you Mayor Mayor Quillswish Jr. Mayor Mayor? Your first name is Mayor? It's my birthright. <laughs> it's a family name. As for you, I can see that you're well, well prepared to handle this town. Allow me to help you. You can, buy, you can build as many of these as you want. Farms. Creates five food while you're in the dungeon. For each nearby farmland tile, gain plus two efficiency. Farms will create food while you're out adventuring. Houses increase population. Yep, nice. Attract new villagers. We can't expand forever, though. The cost will keep rising. Okay, Lewis. You're back again. You're never going to stop going in there, are you? Nope, not until this town's rebuilt. I can't sit still while my home falls apart. This place hasn't been the same since the king's raids. If it wasn't for my bad leg, king would have conscripted me. And then you'd be all alone. Purse, if something happened to you, after losing Prada, I don't think I could live here without you. I miss Mom, too. I'm sorry I worry you, Dad, but I know I have to do this. I know, Purse. Okay. So, houses seem pretty important. Houses are 10 food and 10 building things. And so if I'm here, we can sell this for food or treasure. Oh, it sells for both. Ah. Okay. And then you get a little bit of the, the building stuff as well. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I just, I'm a little hesitant if I should sell any of the, like, wh why would I not, if I have no use for these, why would I ever keep them? Do you know what I'm saying? I think you guys know what I'm saying. Some of you guys probably know this, but I do not. So houses increase population. Commercial decorations. I don't know what that qualifies as. But I don't think a house will be a commercial decoration. 
So, like, I'm sure there's ways that I need to build this. I'm gonna put one there. Okay, so that's... Did that immediately apply that? I don't want to build everything else. Uh, this will also be nice. So what I could do is maybe sell a couple of these things. Like some of my duplicates. Just to see. Oh, whoops. So sell those. And then I will build... Let's build a farm. Each farmland tile nearby. So farms should probably be off in their own area, maybe? Okay. Well, let's see how that feels. Is there anybody else around here? Doesn't look like it. So if I go adventuring now, I can take this costume, same character, go adventuring, Energy delivery. Okay. A basic run with no special settings. Energy delivery. Return to the dungeon in search of more loot. You start with these. The run ends after area one. I gotcha. And then I get to keep these things. But what's the point here if I don't get my loot? I just need to figure that out. And I will. But this will be our next, uh, this will be our next adventure for the energy delivery. Let's throw this in here. And this needs to be on its own, right? Adjacent or diagonal, it's disabled. Yeah. Okay, cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll take our little break here. And when we come back, we'll keep exploring. If you know any answers to those questions I was asking, please hit me up. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.